Hello stylers, welcome back to the Full Style Inc. channel for another video. Today's video is this fun and flirty, cute floral sheer dress that can be worn over anything as casual as a shirt and some jeans or also as a swimsuit cover up. So I'm gonna be starting off here with this sketch. I picked up this fabric at a thrift store. I believe it was like a table curtain, a table <laughs> cover. A tablecloth or a table runner one of them old-fashioned ones and I love the embroidery detail of the few of the fruit as well as the shallop um, lace um, hem I'm going to show you more detail of the fabric later so I'm just sketching out how I wanted to look I wanted to um, resemble like those off the shoulder Mexican style party dresses the white ones with all the embroidery details of flowers and fruit I really did like that style and thought it would be perfect for the summer I had, um, originally intended to make this with a lining underneath but the fabric that I chose for the lining was ex extremely sheer to the point where it made no sense to actually wear it underneath the dress because you can still see through the fabric so this is just going to be a sheer overlay that you can layer over jeans, a top, another dress, like a simple dress, um, or you could wear it as a swimsuit cover-up. So I just have it off the shoulder, um, double layered um, flared sleeves, and just like um, a t-shirt style fit dress. Um, here is the fabric up close as you can see it is quite long I have quite a bit of it I don't know how many yards but this is more than enough to do a dress um, and some sleeves so this is a dress that I like the fit of it's like one of those um, box t-shirt dresses and I just want to get the shape out of it for the body that will be like come the structure of the dress now I intended to make this so that the sleeves and the body the bust part was all one piece attached but I end up making the sleeve separate you can choose to put it together or make it separate it's up to you so of course once I'm done tracing that dress I am going to go in and add my seam allowance this is just going to be the overall structure I'm not going to stick too much to the body of it because this fabric I do have a lot of it I do want it to flow away from the body and this is the fabric here I am absolutely obsessed I tried to get the, the layout of the florals and the shallop detail um, not perfect but where it looks right and it hits and falls on the body nicely And as you can see, I do not even cut um, down the other half of that body on that's on the fold, the other half of the fabric that's on the fold, because I want to give this dress lots and lots of body. And when I'm done cutting those two pieces from the remaining of that fabric, I am going to cut out the bottom half of the border because I'm going to use that to become my sleeves. So I folded over, beginning at the top, I folded over the edges to get the length that I want. This is about a 68, um, six, I mean, I folded over the edges in the front and in the back to get the shape that I wanted, get the length that I wanted. And the front is about a 36 and the back is about a 38. And I stood it at my height. So I put her almost matching my height and my shoulders and my chest um and so i folded over the edges so that it could get the length i want and i would just go through and cut those away i'm gonna do that on camera um once i had the front and the back in the position to where i would like to sit on my body using some tailored um tape to you know hit where i would like it to lay I went ahead and I pinned up the sides. I'm sorry I did this all on, off camera. I was just in the zone working and I didn't even think to pick up my camera. Um, so I pinned up the sides. The sides are pinned up, as you can see. Okay. And I have 
them laying so that I definitely have enough room. As you can see, there is more than enough room. Um, it's going to be quite voluminous because we will be using elastic to gather all of this together. So there is more than enough room, which is why you see these pleats. Um, so with the sides gathered up, I tried to make it as even as possible so that it hangs in a nice position. Just try to give um, some movement and shape to it. So you will see here where it kind of just like veers off. That's gonna be like a little um, slip right here. Not a slip, a little uh, slit right here. And with the other side, it does the same thing. I have it pinned up, but it would do like a little slit right here. And I didn't so much try to get all of the shapes, the embroidery in. I'd rather have it have it fall in shape or a certain type of way than have the embroidery all in. So if anything, I can cut this out and use it on something else if I'm, you know, that stressed about it. So again, with the back, the back was a little longer. I pinned it over exactly where I wanted to hit on my dress form, which is how it's going to hit on me. Um, and I'm just gonna cut this extra, these extra parts away. And then I'm going to take it to my sewing machine, sew up the sides and make a casing. And then I'm gonna put it back on to make it, no. Sew up the side seams make a casing for the elastic so i'm not going to cut this exactly where it's folded i'm going to come down like two inches um make the casing for the elastic make sure everything is pinned into place insert the elastic and then i'm going to move on to making my sleeves the good thing about this is that it does not have to be hemmed that is i'm i'm so grateful for that it does not have to be him but that is what i've worked on so far it has been months since I started this project so um, COVID-19 has really made a lot of things uh, possible so I'm gonna get to I'm gonna reposition this camera and I'm gonna get to um, cutting away this extra And depending how thick your elastic is, is depending how thick or wide you would make your casing. Um, yeah, it depends on how you make your casing. I have different type of elastic, so I have I don't know don't know which width I am going to choose yet. But I just wanted to mention it. Has anyone had any questions about why I was cutting this at the length I was cutting this? And if anything, I might make the elastic in the front shorter, um, um, not shorter. I might use a thinner elastic in the front and a thicker elastic in the back um, or vice versa because um, depends on where I would need the, much, the, the, um, the most support. Being, being careful around the parts where I have this pleated up at because that is just not standard excess fabric that is part of what would become the body of the dress I don't want to clip away at the body of the dress Once I have this, sorry. Once I have the side sewn up, sewn up, I can go in and determine like um, how to close this up because it is the access, the access fabric here, and um, how to close it up. 
to either create a casing to go so it can go all the way through or just leaving enough room so where it sits comfortably underneath my arm so that I can uh, have a space to attach the sleeve. Alright, I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and sew this bad baby up, try it on. I'm super excited. I hope it fits. I know it's going to fit up here. But it's the body. All of this that I worry about. This. This part. Uh, I hope it's not too tight. Because I kind of want it to be loose and flowy. Um, not super loose, but you know. So I'm going to sew it the side seams, but I'm not going to cut any of this stuff away in case I need to seam rip anything. You can see me here just sewing up them side seams. Again, I am going down a line that I created for myself with my pens. I'm not going to veer off or veer in to try to get in any of the embroidery. I'm leaving a slight little vent split on the sides. You can see me here playing around with the pins, just reposition them that for the top of the dress that will become um, the casing for our elastic. And I'm just moving those around so I can just um, pin straight through. I'm going to take some elastic. I measured out how wide, uh, how, um, wide I need the elastic to be around my bust. And I'm going to cut probably like five inches less than that. I'm just double checking the width of my elastic casing before I start sewing. Once I tried everything on and I saw how I liked it before including the um, elastic, you can see me going in just removing off the excess fabric on the sides. I am sewing down the casing for the elastic. Um, I've attached the sleeve, the first sleeve, and I just so the side, these are the remnants of what was cut out for when I cut the shape, the structure of the skirt, of the dress. And I've added elastic, and it's just, it's just up there with some clips. <laughs> it's up there just with some clips. And I am going to be going, I'm going to be sewing up those sides, and then I'm going to be going in to create a, a um, case for the elastic to go through. Trim away all of the excess fabric once I like how it um, looks. Um, I'm going to take some a smaller um, width of elastic and I'm going to use that to mark how wide I need to make my casing. Fold that over and sew around the arm. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to take a safety pin, feed that through my elastic S, feed that through the casing. As before, try it on. I like trying it on, like in the fit, and I'm going to secure that with a um, stay stitch. And I do go back over to top stitch all of my elastic casings. Once I've done all of that, I am going to put my dress back on the form and clip up and pin all of the sleeves so I can see how they look, make sure they're centered correctly, and I sew them down at the same length on both sides so there's no uneven unevenness and awkwardness when, when it comes to the fit of the dress and how they will, you know, wear and fit under my arms. Once I'm satisfied with how it looks, I'm going to remove it from my dressing form. 
and I'm going to secure that down with a zigzag stitch. And after that stylus, you are done. You are complete. I absolutely love this. It is so cute. I think this is perfect for the summer going into fall. Definitely something you can wear out and about. Definitely something you can wear to the beach if you're going out. Um, as much as you can do for the rest of the summer we have in the year of 2020. Um, definitely love this over shirt and a pair of pants. You can wear it with another dress. That would be cute, or you could wear it as a swimsuit cover up while you're in the backyard in your kitty pool. All right, stylists, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and comment below. Let me know what you like about it. Let me know what you're excited to see. Um, thank you so much for watching. And always remember to love yourself fully. Until next time.